Welcome back again. Karibu tena. Sawa. Welcome back again. Karibu tena. This is our third day in Secret ya tatu. And uh, this is hope and faith for all nations local church Bible school. Hope and faith Bible. Uh, we are continuing with uh, our subject knowing God fully tunaendelea somo letu la kumjua Mungu kiukamilifu and you must remember na lazima ukumbuke that we cannot know God as he is fully uwezi kumjua Mungu kama alivyo kiukamilifu but we will only know God to the level of what he has revealed himself to us utamjua Mungu kwa kiwango ambacho amejifunua kwako au kwetu and that's why we want to keep on studying until we know him na ndio maana tunatakiwa kuendelea kujifunza mpaka tumjue today we are continuing with the same uh, with the same topic na leo tutaendelea na na na, 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 na somo hilo the existence of god uwepo wa Mungu The book of Romans chapter 1 kitabu cha Warumi sura ya kwanza and verse 19 na mstari wa 19 The Bible clearly says Biblia inasema kiukamilifu because what may be known of God is manifested in them kwa kuwa mambo ya Mungu yanayojulikana yamekuwa dhahiri ndani yao for God has shown it to them kwa maana Mungu aliwazirishia This is what the Bible says. Hiki ndicho ambacho Biblia inasema. That's all it takes to know him. Yote yanachukua kumfahamu yeye is been invested into man. Ni kuwekeza kwa mwanadamu. Is been invested into us. Imewekezwa ndani mwetu. God made known. Mungu alisababisha ifahamike that the knowledge of god to be known is manifested in us kwamba ili maarifa ya mungu yapate kujulikana imezirishwa ndani mwetu so you wonder where do these excuses for not believing in god come from unashangaza kwamba haya mambo ya kutokumwamini mungu yanatokea wapi why do scientists keep on arguing about the existence of god kwa nini wana science wanaendelea kubishana kuhusiana kuwepo wa Mungu? Why this atheism keep on challenging the existence of God? Kwa nini hao watu wasio muamini Mungu wanaendelea kuleta changamoto kuhusu uwepo wa Mungu? While God has revealed what he is like in and through his creation. Kama jinsi ambao Mungu alivyojizirisha kwamba jinsi alivyokupitia uumbaji wake. Therefore no excuse will be accepted for you not to believe in god and his existence kwa hauwezi kujitetea kwamba mungu hayupo na mungu katika uwepo wake we need to keep on studying and to keep on learning to know him better inatakiwa tuendelee kujifunza na kuendelea kufundishwa ili tuweze kumjua zaidi hallelujah hallelujah the nature shows alisi walisi naonesha the god of might mungu mwenye nguvu the god of intelligence mungu ambaye ana akili god who control powerful forces mungu ambaye anatawala nguvu zenye nguvu the nature is very clear ile wali ya wasili ipo kabisa it shows us that there is a god who is powerful inatuonesha kwamba yuko mungu mwenye nguvu and we need to adhere to this knowledge na tutakao tukubaliana hayo maarifa to keep on 
studying so to can know him fully ili tuendelee kujifunza ili tuende kumjua Mungu vizuri because the bible says when you know god you will have peace biblia inasema ukimjua Mungu utakuwa na amani hallelujah hallelujah god has revealed his divine nature and personal qualities to Mungu us amefunua ile uasili wake na na na, na ile sifa zake kwetu through creation kupitia uumbaji And I tell you ignorance is a very heavy burden. Kwa sababu pia nilivyokuambia ujinga ni mzigo mzito sana. If you say there is no god that is ignorance. Ukisema kwamba Mungu hayupo huo ni ujinga. And it comes from the devil. Na inakuja kutoka shetani. We are not controlled by the devil. Hatutawaliwi na shetani. We have the Holy Spirit. Tunaye Roho Mtakatifu who is our teacher. Ambaye ni mwalimu wetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God himself. Mungu mwenyewe has put this knowledge in us ameweka haya maarifa ndani mwetu yet you find some people fail to understand the existence of god lakini bwana unakuta kuna watu wengine wanashinda kuelewa uwepo wa mungu the universal belief in god comes from within ile hali ya kumwamini mungu inatokea ndani mwetu it comes from us inatoka kutoka ndani mwetu because it is god who has put it in us kwa sababu ni mungu ambaye ameweka ndani mwetu the bible says Because what may be known of God is manifested in us. Kile ambacho kitabu kijulikana kuhusu Mungu kimezirishwa ndani mwetu. For God has shown it to us. Kwa sababu Mungu ameonesha kupitia sisi. So uh, whether the scriptures are known or not. Uh, Iwe maandiko yanafahamika au hayafahamiki as men and a woman kama wababa na wamama are essentially spirit being ni watu wa kiroho who or, originated from the father of spirits ambaye wametoka katika roho mungu wa roho it is good to keep on studying about our god ni vizuri kuenda kujifunza kuhusu mungu wetu because if we don't kwa sababu kama utafanya hivyo the evil influence will influence us to take us out of believing in god ile roho mbaya itatushawishi kutotoa tusimwamini mungu and that if that apply then the, the scripture which says without faith it is not possible to please god kama ikiwa ni hivyo lile andiko ambalo linasema bila imani hawezi hawezi kumpeleza mungu because bible clearly says without faith Bia nasema kwa hakika bila imani it is impossible to please haiwezekani kumpendeza Mungu it means inamaanisha without faith bila imani god will not act god will not do anything Mungu hawezi kutenda Mungu hawezi kufanya chochote because everything is been put in in uh, principle kwa sababu kila kitu kimewekwa katika kanuni when you do this and it it will happen because of faith ukifanya hivi itatokea kwa sababu ya imani Hebrews chapter 12 verse 9 wa Hebrewia 12 mstari wa 9 the bible says Biblia inasema furthermore we have had human fathers who corrected us and we paid them respect shall we not much more readily be in subjection to the father of spirits na the live pamoja na hayo tulikuwa na baba zetu wa mwili walioturudi nasi tukawastahili tukastai basi si afadhali sana kujitia chini ya baba wa roho zetu na kuishi haleluya haleluya the father of spirit baba wa roho zetu who is this huyu ni nani who is the father of spirits baba wa roho ni nani It's God Mungu it is God ni Mungu so if you say God is not there kwa ukisema Mungu hayupo pale then where did you come from umetoka wapi sasa as a, as a spirit being kama mtu wa kiroho you were created umeumbwa and God is your father na Mungu ni baba yako so it is good to believe kwa hiyo ni vizuri kuamini that God is there kwamba Mungu yuko hallelujah hallelujah the fact alone this fact alone that, uh, uh, the, that god is the father of spirits uh, kweli peke yake kwamba mungu ni baba wa roho makes the burden of proof rest upon those who deny 
the existence of God. Inaweza kudhibitisha kwa wale ambao wanakataa uwepo wa Mungu. And I want to tell you. Nataka nikuambie. That scriptural proofs are there. Kama wakithibitishwa wa kimaandiko huko pale. And it is uh, hardly to 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 argue the scriptural scriptural proof na ni vigumu kuanza kubishana na ule uthibitisho wa kimaandiko because the scriptural proof for the existence of god is vast kwa sababu ule uthibitisho wa kimaandiko kuhusu uwepo wa mungu ni mwingi fulfillment of prophecy for example is enough to make any thinking person aware of the existence of god kutimia kwa nabii inaweza kumsababisha mtu yeyote aweze kuelewa kwamba mungu yupo Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prophet, prophets prophesied. Manabi walitabiri many years ago. Miaka mingi iliyopita. And it came to pass. Na ikatimia. They said God God says this. Walisema Mungu alisema hivi. And it came to pass. Na ikatokea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So by so we believe that God exists. Kwa hivyo tunaamini kwamba Mungu yupo. Another thing jambo lingine the birth of jesus kuzaliwa kwa yesu his life maisha yake his ministry huduma yake is in itself enough to reveal the existence of god inatosha kufunua uwepo wa mungu ask your neighbor do you believe that god exists hebu muweze jina lako je unaamini kwamba mungu yupo and and what we are saying here na kitu tunachosema hapa is not just believing sio tu kuamini because other people do believe kwa sababu watu wengine wanaamini no 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 hapana hapana we want it to be in into action nataka iwe katika matendo to believe it from within your heart kuamini kutoka ndani ya moyo wako that father god is there for you kwamba mungu baba yuko pale kwa ajili yako he, he, he talks he speaks na anaongea And when he tells you something na akikuambia kitu and you know that this is God saying na ukajua kwamba ni Mungu anasema you do it fanya that's what it means to believe that God exists iko ndo kumaanisha kuamini kwamba Mungu yupo hallelujah 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 so the bible biblia bible history uh, bi- historia kibiblia and the jew na na wayahudi points clearly to the existence of god ni ishara tosha katika uwepo wa mungu if you you you, you don't believe that god exists kama uamini kwamba mungu yupo think about these things hebu fikiria kuhusu haya mambo fulfillment of prophecies kutimia kwa unabii the birth of jesus christ kuzaliwa kwa yesu kristo the life of jesus christ on earth maisha ya yesu kristo hapa duniani his ministry on earth huduma yake hapa duniani these things are enough to convince you that jesus exists. Aya mambo yako tayari kukuthibitisha kwamba Mungu yupo. We are dealing with the existence of God. Tunajifunza kuhusu uwepo wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are some who have tried to explain the existence of God by using various arguments. Kuna baadhi ya ambao wamejaribu uh, kuthibitisha uwepo wa Mungu kwa kutumia Uh, mawazo mbalimbali sometimes they argue that there's no god wakati mwingine wana wanabishana kwa Mungu hayupo and i tell you this argument have some, have some merit naweza kuambia kwamba haya mabishano yana ukweli fulani they have some merit they, they may seem to be true sometimes inawezekana yaonekana ni kweli wakati mwingine but they fail far short because we cannot adequately or correctly explain god kwa sababu hatuwezi kialisia na kiukweli na kwa fasaha kuelezea uwepo wa mungu so never be tempted to justify god's existence kwa hiyo usijaribu kuthibitisha ule uwepo wa mungu the almighty is able to stand up for himself mungu mwenye mwenyezi anaweza kusimama yeye mwenyewe he does not need us to defend him aitaji sisi tumtetee the bible says that he laughs at the arrogance of those who says there's no god biblia inasema kwamba anacheka kwa ule ujinga wale wanaosema kwamba mungu hayupo the science 
scientists wana science atheism wale wasomo waamini Mungu you read you read on the book of psalm chapter 2 verse 1 kitabu cha zaburi sura ya pili mstari wa kwanza verse 1 to 4 mstari wa kwanza mpaka wa 4 you will see there utaona pale that god laughs kwamba Mungu anacheka if they say there's no god wanaposema hakuna Mungu he laughs anacheka If they, they, if they say God does not exist. Waksa Mungu hayupo. He loves. Anacheka. Because God is there. Kwa Mungu yuko. And you cannot change that. Na uwezo kubadilisha hilo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only one God exists. Yetu yupo ana yupo. And there is no other God. Na hakuna Mungu mwingine. Only one. Mungu mmoja tu. God exists. Mungu mmoja tu ndio yupo. And there is no other God. Na hakuna Mungu mwingine. Genesis chapter 1, uh, uh, mwanzo sura ya kwanza, verse 1, wa kwanza, in the beginning, hapo mwanzo, God created the heavens. Mungu aliumba mbingu and the earth. Na nchi. This statement, uh, is kauli challenge inatupa changamoto this statement uh, is it, man, maneno which says in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth ambayo inasema hapo mwanzo mungu aliumba mbingu na nchi they challenge seven false views of god ah uh, ina ina ina, 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 ina wapa changamoto wale aina saba ya watu ambao wanaamini mungu ayupo let me divide this statement into two Acha nigawanye katika sehemu mbili. Part 1, namba moja. In the beginning God. Hapo mwanzo Mungu. In the beginning God. Hapo mwanzo Mungu. This challenges the atheism. Hii inatia changamoto wale wasioamini Mungu yupo. Who says there is no God. Ambao wanasema Mungu hayupo. Because it says in the beginning God. Inasema hapo mwanzo Mungu. So it means God is there. Kwa hiyo inamaanisha Mungu yupo. So those who say there's no God, wale wanasema ambao Mungu hayupo. I don't know where do they get this. Sijui wanatoa wapi hili. Because God is there. Kwa sababu Mungu yupo. You cannot serve him if you don't know if he's there. Uwezi kumtumikia kama hujui kwamba yupo. And if you know God is there, na kama ukijua kwamba Mungu yupo, it will help you to move with him. Itakusaidia uweze kutembea naye. When he talks, anapoongea when he tells you to do something anapokuambia ufanye kitu you believe that unaamini hicho you act unafanya kazi you put it into action unaweka kwenye matendo and the things happen na mambo yanatokea god is miracle working god mungu ni mungu wa kutenda miujiza hallelujah hallelujah so god is there mungu yupo and it also challenges na pia inatoa changamoto the polytheism wale ambao wanaamini miungu wengi who says who teach that there is a many gods wale wanaofundisha kwamba kuna miungu wengi so it says in the beginning god inasema hapo mwanzo mungu only one god mungu mmoja not two so wawili not three so watatu we will see when we get to the trinity utaona tutapofikia kwenye utatu you will see that there is only one utaona kwamba kuna mungu mmoja hallelujah 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 someone hallelujah mtu mmoja and part two of this statement na sehemu ya pili ya hii kauli is created the heavens and the earth aliumba mbingu na nchi this challenge the path pathism inatoa changamoto kwa wale wanaamini miungu wengi pia who says god and the universals are in identical ambayo inamaanisha kwamba Mungu pamoja na uumbaji ni wanafanana. They say that God and the universals are similar in every detail. Kwamba uumbaji pamoja na Mungu wanafanana kwenye kila kitu. This is lies. Huu ni uongo. Lies of the devil. Ni uongo wa shetani. Number 2, namba 2, it challenges the fatalism. Uh, ina inatoa changamoto pia kwa wale ambao wanaamini kwamba mambo yatokea tu kwa kwa bahati this believes that things happens by chance kwamba mambo yalitokea tu kwa bahati can nothing can just happen by chance hakuna kitu kinachotokea tu kwa hivyo hivyo everything is there because someone did it 
kuna kitu hicho kitu kipo sasa kuna mtu amefanya kazi if you see the moon ukiona mwezi if you see the sun ukiona jua if you see the universal itself ukiona ulimwengu wenyewe it is god who created ni mungu aliyeumba it is god who created ni mungu aliyeumba even we human being hata sisi wanadamu we are not here because of just happening tuko hapa tuko sawa tunatokea we did not just happen haikutokea tu It took God to create us. Mungu alituumba. And he said let us made. Akasema tumuumbe mtu. Let us create man. Tumuumbe mtu in our image. Kwa sura yetu. And in our likeness. Na kwa sura mfano wetu. How can you teach such a thing? Unaweza kufundisha kitu kama hicho. That things just happened by chance. Mambo tu yametokea kwa bahati. So it challenges inatoa changamoto and another thing that is been challenged na kitu kingine ambacho kinatoa changamoto is evolution ni ile evolution who teach that things have developed from the earlier forms during the history of the earth kwamba wanafurisha kwamba mambo yalitokea katika namna fulani kabla ya uumbaji wa nchi there is rubbish outside there ah uh, kuna takataka nje huko there is heresy outside there ah uh, kuna mafundisho potofu huko nje they trying to 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 reduce the power of our god wanataka kupunguza nguvu ya Mungu wetu try it jaribu the devil himself failed Uh, Who do you think you are? Wewe ni nani? God is God Almighty. Mungu ni Mungu mwenye nguvu. You nguf. cannot challenge God. Hauwezi kumpa changamoto Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is there. Mungu yuko pale. And he is God our Father. Na ni Mungu baba yetu. The Father of the saints. Uh, Mungu wa watakatifu the saints who are alive watakatifu walioko hai the saints we saints who are alive sisi watakatifu ambao tuko hai he is our father yeye ni baba yetu hallelujah hallelujah it is good to keep on studying on about him ni vizuri kuendelea kujifunza kuhusu mungu so we can know him fully ili tuweze kumjua kwa uvizuri another thing that another idea that is been challenged wazo lingine ambalo linatoa changamoto is dualism ni dualism who teach that god and the evil are equal ambao wanafundisha kwamba mungu na uovu wako sawa another thing is materialism na kingine ni materialism who say that there is no spiritual world ambao wanasema kwamba hakuna ulimwengu wa kiroho this is lies na upia na yenyewe ni uongo do you really know god je kwa unamjua mungu Do you sometimes go before God? Je wakati mungu anaenda mbele za Mungu? Or you do it as a liturgy. Liturgia. Au unafanya kama liturgia. When they say let us be on our feet, you stand. Wakisema tuwe kwenye miguu yetu tunasimama. Let us sit down, you sit. Tukae chini unakaa. Guys, let us pray. Watu ombe. You start. Unaanza kuomba. Father God, Father God, you know my you know, you know ah, Mungu amen. baba, unajua mahitaji yangu. And the days goes on. Days goes on. Na na, na siku zinaendelea. And you are not benefiting anything from your father. Na upati chochote kwa baba yako. Because if you know this is my father, pia ni baba yangu. You can go to him. Utaenda kwake. Not because someone has told you to go and to talk to him. Sio kwa sababu mtu amekuambia uende na wakaongee naye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God declares plainly in his word. Mungu ameandaa He declares ametangaza ametangaza wazi katika neno lake that there is no other god beside himself Hakuna Mungu mwingine zaidi yake yeye Yesterday we read some scriptures uh, ya, jana tusoma baadhi ya maandiko confirming this very point of having no other god at all ikithibitisha ule ukweli kwamba hakuna mungu mwingine kabisa we read revelation chapter 1 uh, ufunuo sura ya kwanza verse 8 mstari wa 8 god himself saying god himself saying yes mungu mwenyewe amesema he is the alpha yeye ni alpha the omega omega the beginning mwanzo and the end na mwisho who was aliyekuepo and who is ambaye yupo and who is to come na atakaye kuja hallelujah hallelujah we also read revelation chapter 4 tusoma pia ufunuo sura ya 4 verse 8 mstari wa 8 he says anasema he is holy holy 
yeye ni mtakatifu is lord god almighty mungu mwenye enzi who was ambaye alikuepo and who is ambaye yupo and who is to come na ambaye atakayekuja we also read isaiah chapter 44 tusoma pia isaya 44 and verse 8 na mstari wa 8 god asked a question mungu anauliza swali is there a god besides me je kuna mungu zaidi yangu mimi is there a god besides me je kuna mungu ambaye yuko zaidi yangu mimi is there other rock besides me je kuna mwamba mwingine kuliko mimi and he answered na najibu I know not one. Sija simfahamu mmoja yeyote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is real. God. Mungu wetu ni halisi. Our God is mighty. God. Mungu wetu ana nguvu. Our God is powerful Mungu God. Mungu wetu ni Mungu mwenye nguvu. And I'm happy he is my father. Na nina furaha sababu ni baba yangu. I go to him every time. Naenda kwake kila wakati. I know when to go to him. Najua wakati gani wa kwenda kwake. I know kwake. what to do when I'm before him. Najua nifanye nini napokuwa mbele zake Sometimes I don't pray when I'm before him Wakati mwingine siomi napokuwa mbele zake Sometimes I just laugh Wakati mwingine nacheka tu I rejoice Nafurahia tu Enjoying the atmosphere of Ni, that anointing ule mazingira ya ule upako of his presence ya ule uwepo wake Hallelujah Hallelujah Our father is real Mungu wetu ni halisi And when you deal with him na unapofanya kazi na yeye You must deal with him as a living God Unatakuwa kufanya kazi na yeye kama Mungu aliye hai Somebody say amen Mtu mmoja aseme amen Are you still around Je bado upo hapa Do you really know God Je unamjua Mungu Did you talk to your father today Did you talk to God today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is the real good God. We also read the book of Isaiah. Pia tumesoma kitabu cha Isaya. We also read the book of Isaiah. Pia tumesoma kitabu cha Isaya. Chapter 48. Mstari 48. 48. 48. Abena nane and verse 12 na msara 12 to 13 paka 13 God says Mungu anasema I am he mimi ni yeye the first wa kwanza and the last na wa mwisho why do you keep on arguing kwa nini unaendelea kubishana that there is no god kwamba Mungu hayupo why do you keep on challenging the existence of god kwa nini unaendelea kuleta changamoto kwenye uwepo wa Mungu god lives Mungu anaishi. He is alive. Yeye yuko hai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And today I want to add some more scriptures. Na leo nataka niongeze maandiko mengine. Confirming the existence of God. Yakithibitisha uwepo wa Mungu. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. Tuende kwenye kitabu cha Isaya. Chapter 45. Isaya 45. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 45. Abena 5 Isaya. Is there? Uko hapo. Those says the Lord. Bwana asema hivi. And I will jump some some oh, okay. part there. Okay, nimeruka baadhi ya Those says the Lord. Hivi ndio asemavyo Bwana. Surely God is kika Mungu yupo with you. Na wewe. Those say the Lord. Wao nasema Bwana Surely God is with you. Kwamba Mungu kwa hakika yuko na wewe. And there is no other There's na, no other na hakuna mwingine. There's no other God. Hakuna Mungu mwingine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These are scriptures. Haya ni maandiko. Confirming yanayothibitisha that God is there kama Mungu yuko hapo and there is no other god na hakuna Mungu mwingine hallelujah hallelujah it is god who has declared this from ancient time ni Mungu ambaye ametangaza aya tangu mwanzo who has told it from that time aliyezungumza tangu uko mwanzo he says have not i the lord akisema kama sio mimi bwana And there is no other god besides me. Na hakuna Mungu mwingine zaidi ya mimi. A just god. Mungu mwenye haki. And a savior. Na mwokozi. There's none besides me. Hakuna zaidi yangu mimi. The Bible keeps on 
saying keeps on t- telling us Biblia inaendelea kutueleza inaendelea kutufundisha about the only one God kuhusu Mungu ambaye ni mmoja Hallelujah Hallelujah We believe in this God. Tunamwamini huyu Mungu. And when our faith is before our God. Na imani yetu inapokuwa kwa Mungu wetu. Things happen. Vitu vinatokea. It is by faith. Ni kwa imani that we will see things from our Father. Tupokea vitu kutoka kwa baba yetu. Not by anything. Sio kwa kitu kingine. It is good to pray. Ni vizuri kuomba. But without faith. Lakini bila imani. The prayers is dead. Uh, yale maombi afanye kazi without faith bila imani believing that god is there kuamini kwamba mungu yuko hapo i mean when you are in your room na unapokuwa kwenye chumba chako says you are in a room you are alone au uko kwenye chumba ambacho unasema uko peke yako and you, you, you want to pray unapotaka kuomba what do you do unafanyaje you see you are alone there unajiona uko peke yako pale you Don't think that you are alone. Usifikiri uko peke yako. Every time, kila wakati, God is there. Mungu yuko hapo. So when you talk to him, unapoongea naye, be serious as if you see him. Uwe makini kama unamuona. Because he is always there. Kwa sababu wakati wote yuko hapo. Every time he is there. Wakati wote yuko hapo. Anything you want, kila unachokitaji. And you, you face him, na ukamwambia, you want to talk to him. Unataka kuongea naye. See him first. Muone, by faith muone ye kwa imani and talk to him seriously ongea naye kwa umakini because he is there listening kwa sababu yuko pale anakusikiliza now because you don't see him sasa so, so, kwa sababu umuoni then even your prayers hata maombi yako become so shallow yanakuwa yako hayana nguvu so shallow yako hayana nguvu father god you know yourself M- baba unajua mwenyewe i'm a human being mimi ni mwanadamu You know by the way. Unajua hata hivyo. Don't you? Aje Mungu ajui. What kind of prayers is that? Ani maombi gani sasa? You talking to someone who is there. Unaongea na mtu ambaye yuko pale. You know if I'm not around. Kama sipo. You will not talk to me. Hautaongea na mimi. But let's say I'm I am here. Lakini sasa niko hapa. I drive my car I come. Ninaendesha gari langu na kuja. Na unaniona. You will direct come to me. Unakuja moja kwa moja. Pastor Bauer I was waiting for you. Mchungaji ulikuwa anakusubiri wewe. Yeah I was waiting for you. Nilikuwa nakusubiri mchungaji. There's a problem here. Kuna tatizo hapa. And I know uh, pastor you help me. Najua mchungaji utanisaidia. Why? Kwa nini? You see me. Unaniona. So if you know that God exists. Kwa hiyo ukijua kwa Mungu yupo. You will always go to him by faith. Utaenda kwake kwa imani. Seeing him is there and you talk to him direct. Ona kwamba yuko pale na ongea naye moja kwa moja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God exists. Mungu wetu yupo. He is here. Yuko hapa. We cannot see him by our naked eyes. Hatuwezi kumuona kwa macho yetu ya mwinyi. But spiritual. Like kiroho. He is here. Yuko hapa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I told you yesterday. Nilikwambia jana. Our God is big enough. Mungu wetu ni mkubwa sana. You can be full the world the entire world. Aweza kujaza ulimwengu wote. And he is very small. Na ni mdogo sana. You can fit in your heart. Aweza kaingia kwenye moyo wako. It is a miracle working God. Ni Mungu atendaye miujiza. You cannot explain God. Uwezi kumuelezea Mungu. What we believe. Kile tunachokiamini. God exists. Mungu yupo. And everything he tells you to do. Na kile kitu anachokuambia ufanye. Act by faith. Fanya kwa imani act by faith fanya kwa imani because he is not a man kwa sababu si mtu that he, he should lie aseme uongo he says truth every time anasema kweli kila wakati i remember nakumbuka those days wakati wakati he hizo. told me to, to start building this church alipo niambia nijenge ile kanisa Oh, it was a wonderful time ah ilikuwa ni wakati mzuri and i say god kaambia <laughs> mungu yeah Thank you. Asante. Because you are there. Kwa sababu upo. And because you have spoken. Kwa sababu umeongea, I know this church is going to be there. Najua ile kanisa itakuwa na kuwepo. Because you have spoken. Kwa sababu wewe umezungumza. You have said. Umesema. You know sometimes we keep on looking men. Wakati mwingine tunaangalia wanadamu for our help. Watusaidie. We keep on looking for people to help. Tunaangalia watu watusaidie. And we remove our eyes and our focus from God. Na tuondoa macho yetu na mtazamo wetu kwa Mungu. And then we focus on people. Tunaanza kuangalia watu. That's why we fail. Ndio maana tuna fail. That's why many things are not happening. Ndio maana mambo mengi yatokei. Because kwa sababu we don't believe atuamini in his existence. Uwepo wake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I called the church 
board meeting nikaitisha kikao cha kamati ya kanisa i remember that was tough time na kumbuka ulikuwa na wakati wa mgumu sana i told them nikawaambia it is time ni wakati to build the sanctuary kujenga kanisa and we are going to make it big na nataka kufanya iwe kanisa kubwa because god has shown me kwa sababu mungu amenionyesha even the size hata ukubwa and they said yeah it is okay but wakasema ah sawa lakini please pastor tafadhali mchungaji we don't have money hatuna pesa huh? our kids are at at schools watoto wetu wako kwenye shule you know we don't have big businesses hatuna biashara kubwa kubwa maybe we can just start a small one tuanze kajenga kajengo kadogo so that we can remove this this rubbish things that we are in ili tuondoe tu haya mabati ambayo tuko sasa hivi tunakaa kwenye haya mabati and maybe we 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 be in that small thing maybe for 10 to 20 years waiting for when we are good financially sasa tukae kwenye hiyo jengo dogo kwa miaka 10 mpaka 20 mpaka tuwe na nguvu ya kifedha that's human thinking haya ni mawazo ya kibinadamu that's not god huyo sio mungu when god says something mungu akisema kitu they say when god he says yes nobody can say no mungu akisema ndio hakuna kusema hapana haleluya somebody shout and mtu mmoja aseme amina God is really good. Mungu ni Mungu aliyeko hai. And I told them. Nikawaambia. Okay, it is it is okay what you say. Eh, ni sawa mna yasema. But God, lakini Mungu has told me. Ameniambia to build big. Kutenga kujenga kubwa. So we are going to build to according to what God has said. Tutakwenda kujenga kulingana na Mungu alivyosema. All of them. Wote were against wakawa kinyume only one young man kulikuwa kuna kijana mmoja tu festus first by name by jina kwa jina lake he said pastor akana chunga yes we can do tunatukafanya and i say okay kaambia sawa <laughs> thank you my son asante mwanangu we have to believe tunataka tuamini juu ya mungu hapa it is not about us sio sisi it is about him ni kuhusu yeye hallelujah hallelujah how many times god has spoken to you things mara ngapi mungu ameongea na wewe mambo and you tend to fear and uh, search for people to help unaogopa na ukihitaji watu wakusaidie don't go around searching people to help Usiotafute watu wa kusaidie. God himself Mungu mwenyewe will bring people to you. Atawaleta watu kwako. And those people will do the job. Na hao watu watafanya kazi. And after they are done with the job, wakishamaliza kazi, they will go. Wataondoka. Hallelujah. 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 And I want to tell you. Nataka nikuambie. Our God exists. M- Mungu wetu yupo. Why do we study about God's existence? Kwa nini tujifunza kuhusu uwepo wa Mungu? It is because to know what time to go before him. Ni kwa sababu tujue wakati gani wa kumwendea. And when we are before him. Na tukapa come again. And when we are before him. Na tupokuwa mbele yake. We seriously talk to him. Tunaongea naye kwa makini kabisa. We kabisi. tell him whatever we want to be done. Tunamwambia chochote unachokitaka. And also we have this sensitive ear to hear what he tells us. Na atakuwa uwe na masikio makini akusikia kile ambacho anakuambia. Our God is not a dead God. Mungu wetu si Mungu aliyekufa. Whom you find it hanged on, on the, the wall of churches. Ambao utamkuta ametundikwa kwenye kuta za kanisa. A, a person who hung like this way on the some churches kama kamtu kamekaa pale katika baadhi ya makanisa no god lives mungu wetu anaishi he is alive yeye yuko hai somebody say amen mtu mmoja aseme amina so we started kwa hiyo tumeanza and in three in three years katika miaka mitatu this sanctuary was totally accomplished ah kanisa hili likao limejengwa kabisa limekamilika only three kwa years miaka mitatu people do sanctuary like this 20 30 years watu wengi wanajenga makanisa kama haya kwa miaka 20 mpaka 30 because we believed that god who exists has said kwa sababu tumeamini mungu ambaye amesema anaisha amesema god himself acted mungu acted mungu akatusaidia god acted mungu akatenda hallelujah hallelujah can someone say amen mtu mmoja aseme amina romans chapter 1 Warumi sura ya sura ya kwanza 
verse 20. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen. Being understood by the things that he made, are made even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuses. The God of the Bible is not part of community of gods. He is not impersonal. Yeah, 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 you po. People therefore Watu. have the privilege of being able to communicate with him. Watu wanaona fursa ya kuwasiliana naye and get to know him fully. Na kuweza kumjua kwa ufasa. Our creator, muumbaji wetu. We have inherited many of his divine attributes. Tumerithi nyingi ya hizi sifa za Mungu. Because we are made in his image. And likeness. Hallelujah. Scripture testifies the existence of God. Nature confirms his existence. Miracles power explain his existence na miujiza inaelezea uwepo wake God's revelation of himself in the Bible banishes other views of God kwa hiyo ufunuo wa Mungu yeye mwenyewe kwenye Biblia inaharibu kila kila mawazo yale ambayo yanahusu kutokuwepo kwa Mungu God exists Mungu yupo Jesus explained what eternal life is. Yesu alielezea uzima wa milele ni nini? In the book of John, katika kitabu cha Yohana, chapter 17, mstari sura ya 17, and verse 3. Na mstari wa 3. He said, inasema, and this is eternal life. Na huu ndio uzima wa milele. That they may know you. Ili wakujue the only true God. Mungu wa kweli mmoja and Jesus Christ whom you sent na Yesu Kristo uliyemtuma you see now unaona sasa we get eternal life by knowing god tunapata uzima milele kwa kumjua mungu the father mungu baba god the father himself mungu baba mwenyewe through his son jesus christ kupitia mwanae yesu kristo so what will happen if you don't know god kitu gani kitatokea kama mjui mungu what will happen if you don't know god kitu gani kitatokea kama mjui mungu you not get eternal life hautapata uzima wa milele because eternal life is is been found through god the father kwa sababu uzima wewe unapatikana kupitia mungu baba through his son jesus christ kupitia mwanae yesu kristo eternal life requires entering into a personal relationship with god in Jesus Christ. No matter what is situation around the world right now. Such as not traveling without COVID-19 test certificate. Sometimes you arrive but you are put in lockdown for several days. Wakati mwingine unafika unaambiwa ukae karantini kwa siku saba. In public services you are you hear no service without wearing masks. Ah katika zile katika Uh, maofisi ya serikali uwezi kudumiwa mpaka uwe na, 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 na barakoa you are told no shake no handshake without sanitizing auwezi kusalimiana kwa mikono bila kuwa na sanitizer sometimes you are required to keep distance even Mr. and Mrs on bed hata wakati mwingine matakuwa mwe na, na, na umbali kati ya mke na mume children of god be strong watoto wa mungu mwe na nguvu be strong mwe na nguvu our god exists mungu wetu yupo hallelujah hallelujah moses said yeah, moses alisema in the book of exodus chapter 14 kwenye kitabu cha kutoka 14 and verse 13 na mstari wa 13 the egyptians you are you see today kwamba wale wa misri mnaoona leo you will see no more amtawaona tena and i say to you na nasema kwako the corona pandemic 
sick you see or you hear today ugonjwa wa corona unaoona leo au kusikia leo you will never see it again hautaona tena it will be no more hautakuepo tena surely kwa hakika watch and see subiri na uone watch and see subiri na uone it will be no where to be found haitakuepo mahali popote kuonekana our god lives mungu wetu anaishi our god exists mungu wetu yupo his true god yeye ni mungu wa kweli he's not among the gods sio miongoni mwa miungu aren't you happy we have this might father hauna furaha una mungu huyu mwenye nguvu corona is just a temporary issue corona ni kitu cha muda tu and i want to advise you na nataka nikushauri never never respond permanently to a temporary situation kamwe kamwe usijibu uh, jambo la, la kudumu katika uh, hali ya uzarura never respond permanently Usi, to a temporary situation usijibu jambo la kudumu kwa jambo la, la muda don't make a temporary experience a permanent condition usifanye ule uzoefu wa muda kuwa ni kitu cha kudumu Our God specializes in things seems impossible. Mungu wetu ni mtaalamu kabisa amebobea kwa imamu ambaye anaonekana hayawezekani. Just stand and be still. Wewe simama na uwe kimya. The world will know that there is God of the saints who are alive. Dunia itajua kwamba tuna Mungu ambaye wa watakatifu walio hai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 19 uh, kitabu cha Mathayo 19 as I conclude today napomalizia verse 26 mstari wa 26 Jesus said Yesu alisema with men kwa wanadamu this is impossible haiwezekani but with God lakini na Mungu all things mambo yote are possible yanawezekana tell your neighbor mwambie jirani yako with men with men With tell your neighbor with men, men, with, kwa wanadamu this is impossible haiwezekani but with god lakini na mungu all things mambo yote ah possible yanawezekana hallelujah god hallelujah. bless you mungu akubariki we meet again tutakutana tena in jesus name katika jina la yesu amen amen